Good morning or good afternoon or good evening. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate you being here. Um, listen, one of the biggest challenges I have of sporting kids is knowing how much is too much. And this week, uh, one of my children wanted to do yet another optional sporting activity. And I was the miserable dad. And I said, look, I think you've got too much on this week. You did too much last week. I think it's better you have an early night and and relax and chill out and and do stuff for yourself and um and they put their puppy dog eyes on and and made a made a bit of a well, they make a scene but they were like oh please dad please it'll be all right i'm not too tired i'm okay um and then my heart is like oh no i don't want to upset them i want to let them go crumbs it's sport it's being active why would you not want them to play sport and being active and, and i recognize because i just hear tons of stories about um, parents whose kids are sporty, they're often involved in more than one sport, which is really, really good, by the way. Keeping them involved in as many sports for as long as possible is essential to all-round um, physical literacy and development. Um, so so I recognise that there's that challenge, but also there's that kind of when is enough too much, or when is it... Sorry, I didn't say that very well. But when is enough enough? Um, and on this case, as a parent, I had the choice. Sometimes it's really hard if you've got coaches at club and school and, and, and in pathways putting on extra times and you know your kids are having to choose between kind of school and club or or pathway that's always a really tricky uh, dilemma and requires healthy conversations between coaches and parents which thankfully some institutions are really good at and unfortunately not inst all institutions are great at but look I recognize parents it's hard to say no to your kids about stuff um, but the overtraining thing is a massive issue we are seeing kids kind of physically burning out um, remember if they overtrain they get injured more I know some friends at one of my children's sports clubs who, who basically let their kid play kids play full contact sport all year round and and I'm far more than the kind of regulation guidelines around training and do you know what those are the kids that are often injured um, because their bodies are knackered so whilst it felt awkward to say no to those beautiful puppy dog eyes pleading with me to let them do a bit more um, it was the right decision to help them self-manage and most of the time they're pretty good at self-managing but to help them self-manage how do you handle those conversations how do you handle those conversations with coaches if you think your kids bodies are being stretched too much um do you think i'm being too soft what, what are your thoughts have you looked up the latest literature on kind of physical literacy and overload etc etc um if you like this video hit, hit the like button down here somewhere wherever it is um if you, this is worthwhile why not subscribe so that you can see these other kind of vlogs and thoughts of mine as i have this incredible privilege of traveling the sports world if you disagree with me please hit the down button and uh, let me know why as well i hope you have an epic week um, developing your children's potential through the conversations you have and through what you model um, and sometimes I guess that's through putting in farm boundaries and, and saying no to stuff that they are they are really really keen on thanks for stopping by I really appreciate it bye